my vanity Trying to ignite my worth Restore my dignity I know I'll find that death again Where all my beauty's living in Ignore my reflection passing by Cause I will feel it deep inside Are you hot? Does it matter? If you're not Will your mirror shatter? All right, thanks, Shannon. Hi, I'm Terry White, and welcome to my studio. So as you saw, we were just doing a, a fashion shoot with our lovely model, Shannon. And today I get to show off one of my favorite lighting kits, and it's actually by Westcott. It's the Westcott TD5. So I've got three TD5 set up around me here. And the beauty of these lights, and these are the lights I actually got started with, because I wasn't quite comfortable yet with strobes. So I didn't want to make an investment in strobes and, and not buy the right ones or not know what I was doing. So I started off with TD5s because the beauty of these is what you see is what you get. They're daylight balanced fluorescents. They're not hot. There's no heat coming from these. And so therefore I can shoot all day long with these and the model's never going to get hot. I'm never going to get hot. Um, and we're just going to get great shots. Now I'm shooting this with my Nikon DSLR. I've got a D700 here with a 70 to 200 lens and great camera, love my camera. But the title of this video is, it's all about the light. And I saw our friends over at F-Stoppers do something pretty cool. They did a complete fashion shoot with an iPhone camera, that's it. Because again, they were proving the point that it's really about the subject and the lighting. And while the camera is definitely great and important, it's not the most important thing, meaning you don't always have to have the best camera in the world just to get a good shot. So you've seen some of the shots that we've taken already with the Nikon. And again, I'm not, this is not a Nikon versus camera phone comparison. It's more of a, how can I, can I get good shots no matter what camera I have if I've got great lighting? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down the Nikon, the great camera, and we're gonna do something else. We're gonna pull out the iPhone. So I've got an iPhone 4 here that we're going to finish the shoot with. So we have a professional model, Shannon, we're going to bring back in just a minute. We already saw her getting her makeup professionally applied. We've got professional studio lighting from Westcott. The only thing we don't have is a professional camera at this point. So just a standard camera phone camera. Now, the iPhone 4 has a 5 megapixel camera, but it's, you know, there's no trigger for the strobe. So in this, in this case, this is another great example of why I would want to use the TD5 is because I can't trigger anything with this. And also, um, hand holding is going to be kind of tricky because the least little movement of my hand, shot's going to be out of focus. So we need to put this on a tripod. And luckily, my friends over at G Designs designed this uh, tripod mount for the iPhone. So you just slide it in. You get a standard tripod mount on the bottom holds it nice and securely, and we're just going to go ahead and mount this on our tripod and see what we get. Now, I'm going to, just to make it real, I'm going to show you some of the shots that come directly out of the camera, and then after I've given them a little love with Photoshop and retouched them to make them perfect. Um, but there will be the raw iPhone shots, not the shots that we've already seen from the Nikon. So let's give it a try. We're going to bring Shannon back in, and we're just going to start shooting. All right, Shannon, here we go. Let's take some shots. You're looking great. And, you know, there's no controls. There's just a button. Let's press the button and get some shots here. Great. I'm just going to have you step through up here. All right, so then, thank you. Shot taken with an iPhone. Isn't that amazing?
And there's, I wouldn't have tried this in a million years if, again, if I hadn't been inspired by the Upstoppers video and just knowing how good I, good results I get with the TD5s with my regular DSLR and really just realizing how important a great subject and great lighting is. Proven that you can do it with any camera. So, I'm not giving up my Nikon. Don't <laughs> worry. Nikon, you're safe. Matter of fact, I'm going to buy your next one. But if I got great lighting, I can do it with any camera. And that's the point.